In this course, we will learn about chicken mesh used in masonry work. It is used at junctions of different materials such as between junction of masonry and RCC works. It is a metal arch that holds plaster together. The thermal coefficient of RCC and plaster is different. During expansion due to temperature variations, plaster cracks. Usage of chicken mesh avoid cracks developed due to weather effects. It prevents shrinkage cracks and improves mechanical strength of plaster. Types of chicken mesh used for plaster. It is available in different gap sizes and various wire gauges. For internal plaster, chicken mesh of 20 mm diameter hexagonal holes of 26 or 28 gauge. 0.35 mm to 0.45 mm wire is used. For external plaster, chicken mesh of 15 mm diameter hexagonal holes of 22 or 24 gauge wire is used. Wire shape and size. The wire mesh is made of up thin and flexible galvanized wire. The measurement between face of hexagonal is 13 to 50 mm. The diameter of wire used is of 0.6 to 2 mm. Mesh is available in rolls of width 1 or 2.5 meters, and lenses 50 meters, 100 meters or 200 meters, formed by twisting two adjacent wires at least four or more times to get it in honeycomb structure. Hexagonal shape helps in flexibility and ease of installation. It should be galvanized to prevent rusting of wires. Use pliers to cut the wire mesh, to prevent sharp cuts. The smaller honeycomb size, gives better strength to brick wall. Fiberglass mesh is used for putty work for fine internal construction and finishing work. Method of installation. It should cover minimum 150 mm on each side of junction. Total width is 300 mm including RCC and brick surfaces. Provide nailing at 150 mm cc. The plastering of walls and beam slash column in one vertical pane should be carried out in one go. Chicken mesh helps the plaster, while it moves during expansion and contractions, something to hold on to, reducing cracks. There are other means to prevent cracking such as using synthetic fibers, or adding lime in the mortar mix.